Hello everyone, welcome to Medical Education Nepal. Uh, today we are going to discuss another uh, most important communicable disease uh, that is the plague. The plague is uh, uh, most commonly known, uh, famously known as the Black Death. Uh, you can see over here there is a picture uh, like some kind of wish but it is not actually a wish. In later part of this video we will uh, came to come to know what this picture means. Okay. So today we will discuss the history part, the introductory part, the epidemiological triad, the types of plague, its uh, clinical features, mode of transmission, reservoir, incubation period, and its prevention, management, and treatment. Now, the history, uh, the epidemic of the plague has attacked men since the ancient time. The plague has called three world pandemics. So you can see uh, the severity from here only that it has caused three world pandemics. Uh, COVID-19 has currently caused one pandemic, okay, uh, so talking about the plague first was in the 16th century, it was known as the Justinian plague, plague, and second was in the 14th century, the Black Death, and third was the 20th century, which started in China in 1980, and the last epidemic of plague was in uh, India in 1994. So, you can see over here, there is a diagram, uh, graph of uh, how much of uh, this it, it occurs uh, during the different epidemic of the plague. Uh, during the Justinian plague, it was around 30 to 50 million. The Black Death, which is the most famous, it was around 75 to 200 million. And uh, the third plague was about 12 million. Okay, so moving on to the introductory part. Uh, plague is an infectious disease of the animal uh, that is transmitted to man. Uh, so, it is known as a zoonotic disease. So, what are the zoonotic diseases? Those diseases that are transmitted to man through animals are known as the zoonotic diseases. So, the plague is transmitted through the bite of rat flea. So, how this rat flea transmit uh, to a man, we will discuss uh, in detail. So, here is a photograph of a rat flea, you can see over here. And the bacteria that causes this plague is called the Yersinia pestis. Now the epidemiological trial, the environment host and the agent. The agent we know, the bacteria, the Yersinia pestis, uh, the humans are the accidental host. Okay, so what do you mean by accidental host? The accidental host means, uh, the thing is that it is, uh, how can I say, like uh, humans are not supposed to be infected with the plague, but uh, humans are accidentally infected with plague. So this is why the humans are known as accidental hosts. We will discuss in complete detail in the later video. Okay, and the environment are the natural foci, uh, where the natural this um, the Yersinia pestis uh, persists in the natural environment. It's known as the natural foci, physiotic. The plague season is from September to May. The poor housing conditions are responsible. Okay, now talking about how and why the human is known as accidental host or how the rat flea is transmitted. I mean, how the plague is transmitted from rat flea to the human. So we can see over here, this is the picture of a flea. Now flea completing its uh, normal life cycle uh, from egg to larva to pupae and the flea. Now when this flea is infected by the bacteria Yersinia pestis, uh, through the natural environment or through some another uh, infected rodent, then this uh, becomes flea becomes an infected flea. Then from the infected flea, it bites the infected rodent, that is the rat. Uh, then this cycle continues, so this is known as the enzootic cycle. Means the flea bites the rodent, and the rodent is again transmitted, and this cycle continues within the rat and the flea. So this is known as enzootic cycle. Now the flea also infects some other mammals so when it infects the other mammals it becomes an epizootic cycle it means it is not only limited to the rodent but it went into the another mammal so it covers a large area so it is known as an epizootic cycle so i hope you guys have understood between differences between the epizootic and the enzootic cycle now the rat flea during uh, a plague epidemic in a country, uh, the when the the population of the rodent uh, they 
are infected by the rat flea when they die when the entire population of the rodent they die so the flea is unable to bite any other rodent so in this case in this scenario the infected flea they go on to bite the human beings so the humans in this way are infected by the rat flea so uh, the rat flea uh, flea to human transmission this infected rodent or uh, infected flea it bites the human and causes the plague now this plague is known as the bubonic plague now this bubonic plague is uh, when it is transmit it is usually not transmitted from one human to another human but when it is transmission goes from one human to another human it is known as pneumonic plague so there are different types of plague we will discuss in uh, the next part okay so there are three types of plague that is the bubonic plague pneumonic plague and septicemic plague you can see over here the mortality rate the means how dangerous the plague is so the for bubonic is 50 percent pneumonic is 90 percent and the septicemic is 100 percent so you can see over here in this picture uh, we can see uh, the axillary leaf node for bubonic plague is uh, affected the more for pneumonic plague the lungs are affected whereas the septicemic plague the plague has been overall went into the bloodstream now the bubonic plague the most it is the most common type of plague it is caused by the bite of an infected flea and the asian enters the bite and travels to the near uh, by lymph nodes and replicate itself the lymph node becomes inflamed tense and painful and is known as a bubo you can see over here uh, in this axillary lymph node you can see uh, there is an inflamed painful lymph node this is known as the bubo and in also here in the popliteal lymph node you can see over here there is some inflammation this is known as the bubo okay the bubonic plague cannot be transmitted from human to human now this bubonic plague uh, when this uh, in agent went into the lungs this is known as pneumonic plague it is a lung based plague and primarily affects the lung it may develop as a result of untreated bubonic plague so when the bubonic plague is not treated in time uh, it went uh, the pneumonic plague is developed as a complication of the bubonic plague the pneumonic plague can be transmitted from human to human obviously since it is in, in the, it has infected the lungs and we breathe through our uh, mouth and the respiratory tract so it is transmitted from one person to another and it is usually fatal within 18 to 24 days after the onset now the septicemic plague septicemic plague occurs uh, when the infection spreads through the bloodstream the cases are rare but it may develop as a complication of the bubonic plague and the pneumonic plague Septicemic plague is also transmitted in the same way as bubonic plague. However, no bubos are developed over here. Now the clinical features. So for different types of plague, different clinical features uh, are given over here. For bubonic plague, there is a sudden high fever, headache, chills, body aches, and the most important one is the swollen, painful lymph nodes at the groins and the armpits. Now uh, for the pneumonic plague, it is the sudden pneumonia will occur bloody watery mucus and respiratory failure for septicemic plague there is the fever chills body aches and several abdominal pain and so on now the mode of transmission the bite of an infected rat flea and the droplet infection okay inhalation of the droplet respiratory droplets of a pneumonic plague patient is also already given in the previous slide now the reservoirs who carries those agents infected rodent carries fleas carries and even the human carries okay now the incubation period for bubonic plague is one to seven days and occurs within the lymphatic system for primary pneumonic plague is one to four days occurs within the lungs and septicemic plague is one to three days occurs within the blood for the prevention management and treatment uh, the control of the rat population control of the rat flea by using the insecticides DDT and uh, during the outbreak during the outbreak and then there is the control of the human cases uh, early diagnosis notifications isolation quarantine disinfections and health education for treatment antibiotic and supportive therapy is given uh, streptomycin intravenously or intramuscularly is given every 6 to 12 hours at a dose of 30 mg per kg body weight for a period of 10 days so 
During the Black Plague, it was thought that the bad smell was the cause of the plague. Plague doctors therefore wear masks, wore masks with long beak noses, stuffed with flowers and smoke to hide the smell. So in our first slide, we saw there was a witch-like person, but actually he wasn't a witch or she wasn't a witch. Uh, it is a photograph of a health doctor or a plague doctor, we can say, who go on to treat the plague patient. Okay, so this was all about the plague. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you.